All right, welcome back. Let's deploy our very basic Next.js project to Netlify. Now, all you have to do is create a file that's called a netlify.toml. So netlify.toml. Now in that netlify.toml, you'll have some brackets and you'll write build on the inside of them. On the next line, you'll have a command and this command is what will run to actually build the, uh, your project and you'll do npm run build and then npm run export. If you'll remember from your package.json, we have these scripts here. Next dev starts the application in development mode. And so in development mode, you have things like hot code reloading, which again is run by uh, React Fast Refresh. Uh, you have error reporting, all kinds of stuff. That, that's all in next dev. Now next builds though, Next build creates an optimized production build of your application. And when you look at the output of this, if you did want to do that, you can see information about each route and a bunch of other cool stuff. Now in your terminal, if you'd like to experiment with this next build command, you can actually add the flag dash dash profile. So that way you can see a profiler just like you would in development if you were uh, running this build that way, or you can do dash dash debug. And with debug, that enables a more verbose build output. But that's not necessary for exporting your project to be deployed. Now with next start, this is for running your project in production mode. You actually need to run next build before you run next start. You don't really need to do that for this project, but it's good to have the script ready. But next export, this actually bundles up the project and exports it to a static site which is what we use in the netlify.toml here. This is what the command does. It bundles it up and then it exports it to a static site. Now, once that happens, it creates a directory called out. And so if you do publish equals out like this, this is actually all you need to get your site properly published to Netlify. Now I'm going to push all of this to a Git repository And now that I've done that, I can actually connect that to my Netlify account. So let's go to the browser and go to Netlify. And click new site from Git. Now you can connect whatever Git provider that you use. I'm going to use GitHub. And I'm going to pull in my next project. Now, because we set up the netlify.toml, you can see that it actually has the build command and the publish directory already set up. The netlify.toml file is your configuration file for how Netlify will build and deploy your site. And that can also allow you to add redirects and branch and context specific settings and a lot more. But for right now, we're just going to have these two lines right here. And we can click deploy site. Once you do that, you'll have some data on how the site is actually being built and everything. And you can look at the logs if you'd like, but then in a few seconds, we'll be able to actually look at the deployed site in action. And there it is. Now I can click this link right here and look at that. We have our site that we made in just a few lines of code. Now, later in the mission, we're going to talk a little bit more about other deployment options, but for now, I'm happy with this. And let's talk a little bit about the code that you can actually write in Next.js. Onwards.